Hello, my name is Mr. Hammerhead, and this here is my blue pal, Mr. Blob. And we are broadcasting to you from Maxicolpa Fallopatorius. <laughs> Good luck spelling that one. Today, we are learning about inverse operations to do with addition and subtraction. Now, inverse is the mathematical term for opposite. Therefore, the opposite of addition is subtraction. And the opposite or inverse of subtraction is addition. So, here we have 20 take away 4 equals 16. Now, hmm, how many different ways can we rewrite this number sentence using the inverse? Okay, I know how to do this. So, one way of rewriting 20 take away 4 equals 16 is simply by changing it to 20 take away 16 equals 4. Well done, but we've not used the inverse yet. Oh, oh okay, 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 I know, I know. So, in order to write 20 take away 4 equals 16 using the inverse, we need to swap the 20 and the 16 around, like this. However, when we swap numbers over the equal sign, the operation changes. So, the minus now becomes a plus sign, and we have 16 add 4 equals 20. Or, we can rewrite that as 4 add 16 equals 20. Okay then, so tell us then Mr. Blob, why do you think we can't rewrite 20 take away 4 equals 16 as 20 add 16 equals 4? Hmm? Because common sense and our mathematical knowledge should tell us that we know that in no way can, six, can 20 add 16 equal 4. It in fact, if we worked it out, it equals 36. And therefore, that number sentence doesn't work. So, we also can't do 20 add 4 equals 16, because we know that 20 add 4 gives us 24, not 16. So that number sentence doesn't work either. Great, well done. So, now it's over to you guys. And now it's over to you guys. So, using what we know about inverse operations, can you rewrite any of the questions below using the inverse? Now remember, choose one which is going to be a challenge for you. Or better yet, have a go at all four of them and bring them in tomorrow to show us you're working out. And don't forget, any questions you guys have about what we've done learned today, remember to write them down and bring those questions in tomorrow so you can discuss them with your teacher. Well, as for us, I suppose we're off. Um, Mr. Blob? Yes, Mr. Hammerhead? Uh, is it me or is that spaceship outside our window getting, uh, closer? Well, of course it is. It's flying towards us. Oh, we're flying towards it. <laughs> but, uh, don't you think we're gonna, you know, crash? Uh, uh, uh-oh. Um, find the emergency, uh, the emergency button, find the emergency button, where is it? Uh, there, there, uh, I think it's over here. <laughs>